What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's episode, we're gonna go over the four different types of reseller. And so please smash the like button, consider subscribing if you like this type of content. My store, my main store has 26,800 items in it. And my little baby store that I just started with you guys, starting from zero with no money, um, now has 25 items in it. And I just got my seventh feedback today. So I'm very excited. Hopefully within 90 days, the payment hold will fall off this new account so that I can use the capital more quickly. Um, but in this new store, I have enough money to buy 75 new items. So this weekend, I should be able to cross over the 100 listing mark, which is very exciting on this new store. But today I wanna to talk about the four different types of reseller. Number one is gonna be the reseller that understands the big picture, but doesn't understand the details. So if I were to tell you guys in my reseller field guide, I have this calculator that you need 860 items in your store. And if you sell one third of them each month for $15 profit, you would make $1,000 a week. Then you might be able to comprehend that. So you understand the big picture. You're like, okay, if my store is this size and I have these, this number of sales, I will make $1,000 per week. So the first type of reseller understands that but they don't understand the technical part of eBay. Like why do things sell? Why would something sell for $15 profit? I'm gonna go over an example today of an item that I sell for $15 profit and I'll explain to you guys how I do it, but it's actually very technical. It looks really simple. A pair of Gap jeans sells for $20 plus $8 shipping. That's $15 profit. Right? That sounds easy, but there's actually a lot of nuance in this listing that I'm gonna go over to give you guys an idea of how to unlock the technical detail because before, I used to be reseller number one that understands the big picture but didn't really understand the detail. There are other resellers that understand every single part of the eBay listing, but they don't understand how big their, their store needs to be. So that's reseller number two. They understand why things sell on eBay, but they have no idea how to build a store. I was the opposite. I knew how to build a store, but didn't understand the technical ability of why listings sell. Now, I'm in the third category of reseller. In my opinion, I understand why listings sell and I understand how to build a store, which gets me into the fourth type of reseller, which is someone that doesn't understand either. You're just starting, so you don't understand why things sell and you have no idea how to build a store. Don't worry because I used to be there. I do have a mentorship with my colleague Tekken Sports. I think it would take you about one year, to be honest. It would take you one year to understand why things sell, which I'm gonna go over in just a moment, and also how a store works, because I'm not doing eBay for the fun of looking for things. I think it's more fun to have 140 sales every single day, because I understand the technical, abil the technical way of how to build a store, and now that I understand why, why things actually sell, I don't even think I need as big of a store to reach my goal, but let's get into the content of why this pair of Gap jeans um, made me $15 profit. So first off, the pictures that I take for this listing might look simple, but they're not. If you're gonna try to take pictures like this, it's actually gonna take a lot of practice. You can see that the item is perfectly centered. There's a, an, a good amount of white space around the item. I used to delete the background and have white background, but on pre-owned items, my colleague mentioned Tech and Sports, who I run the mentorship with, said that this is more natural and for the buyer it might be a better experience and I actually think that that's true because this is more like what the item actually looks like. So when I take the photos, all of them are centered, all of them are straight. I take all of the measurement pictures. This is a picture of the cuff, the rise. Next picture is the um, waist. The next picture is the inseam. I take a picture of whether or not it's button fly or zip fly. I do the rear, I do the rear profile picture. I take a picture of the model. I take a picture of the logo close up and usually the size and content picture if it has it. And in this pair of jeans, it was cut out so it didn't have the content picture, so it's not included. So I have basically 11 pictures in every single pair of jeans. And it's very technical. People will look at this number and it looks like a store. For me personally, it's stored in bid number 352. It's the 27,922nd item I've listed this year. And it's, in, it's slot number seven inside the bin so I can just reach into it and grab it pretty much without looking into the bin. So 
This looks like a simple listing, but it's really not, especially because I know from practice and from research that the number one searched size for Gap jeans is 12. Okay, so since I know this has the highest demand, I'm purposely picking up size 12. Now that is a moving target. It's always gonna be changing. You have to be on top of your game to figure out what people are actually looking for. I also know that what terms people commonly search for, which item specifics to fill out and which ones not to fill out. If you ask which item specifics should I fill out, that means you haven't done your homework. Because if you do your homework and you start researching Gap Jeans 12 and you look through the sold listings, you will figure out what item specifics are required for that specific category. So it's gonna take a long time for you to understand all these different terms, all the different mechanics of, of a listing. And I, I have a newborn baby that is now five months old. Can you believe it or not? Our ba my baby is already five months old. And I will tell you, Learning how to do eBay is just like being a baby. In the beginning, you have no idea what anything is. You have to slowly start doing things to understand what things mean. So a lot of people are in the don't understand how eBay works, don't have no idea how to build a store. You're in the newborn stage of, of an eBay reseller. And that's totally cool. Everyone has to go through that stage. I went through that stage. Once you get to the point where you understand the mechanics and how much capital you need, how to pay taxes, this is not something that you can just pick up in a weekend. It takes a while. That's why I recommend when you join our mentorship, you should sign up for all year because it's gonna take you a while. I've been in this group for eight months now and my store has gone from 7,000 listings to 27,000 listings. I gained 20,000 listings in eight months because I'm finally understanding both how listings actually work, how to build a store, how to prepare everything, how to get your mindset right. There's like a million steps between this little store that has 25 items in it and this big store that's big enough to afford employees. Uh, I'm at the point now where I'm looking for warehouse space. Everything is set up. This is so different than the very beginner stages of when you're learning how to do eBay. Now, I'm taking that same level of skill and using it in this baby store. So you'll see, even though this listing, this store is only, let me look at the field guide. Um, this store is only 15 days old. It's already made $300 profit with $400 worth of profit still left in the store. And I started with no money. So this, this store is already to the point where it's gonna have regular sales after this weekend. This weekend when I add in 75 items from this $150 budget that I have, this store will have a sale every single day for as long as it is open because I already have all the mechanics set up. I know what to buy and you guys will notice, if you guys follow the store, you will notice a lot of things that I'm doing. I'm buying very specific items and listing them very specific ways. So. I want you guys to challenge yourself to get into the top tier of reseller where you understand how eBay works, why things actually sell, you understand your margins, right? And that's really gonna help you build a store and the life and the income that you want because it takes a lot of work to understand how it works. I know people will tell me, I'm not a numbers person. That's a problem. If you're trying to run an eBay store, you need to understand how profit works. When I sell this item for $19.99 with $8 shipping, I know to the penny how much profit I'm gonna make on this pair of jeans. You need to understand that because it will help you buy the item, it will help you price the item, it will help you take pictures. All of my pictures look exactly the same because, because it saves time. The reason why the pictures look almost identical to the this pair of D jeans looks almost exactly the same as the pair of Gap jeans that I just took because the process is identical, right? It, the only difference is sometimes there's different pictures because of the content. And this one, since the content and the size is in the same picture, we were able to save time and take a, one less picture. So it's interesting, right? Because as you guys know, um, I got rid of one of my employees and today I, a new employee started and after one day, the pictures look exactly like this. You couldn't tell 
the, the, the old photographer who's taken thousands and thousands of pictures and the new photographer who's taken a hundred pictures because we just focused on making the pictures look exactly the same. And that I did not understand until recently. I was just like list, list, list without understanding how to list exactly the same way every single time. And so it's going to be pretty insane because you won't be able to tell who listed it in my store, whether it's me, whether it's Bob, whether it's James, whoever it is listing, the listings will look exactly the same because we have a, a set way of doing things. So that was really huge for me, guys. And I just wanted to share. There really are four different kinds of resellers, people who understand how stores work. A lot of these people are from the business world. Maybe you've run a business before and you understand the mechanics, right? So that's big picture people, but they don't understand how eBay works. Plenty of people have been selling on eBay for 20 years and understand all this stuff. They understand all the item specifics, pictures, free shipping. They understand how all that works, how top rated plus works, but they have no idea how to run a store. And so you'll see these people struggle and after 20 years, they have the same one year of experience over and over and over again. And Isaiah in the Facebook group made a comment. He said, do you feel like other resellers aren't moving at all? I 100% do. If you look at my YouTube channel from five years ago when I started, that's totally different than my store right now. If you look at other YouTubers that talk about eBay, five years ago till now, their store is the same. They do the same thing. They haven't improved any of their processes. And guess what? Everything's a lot more expensive now. So they're screwed. This is really odd to me, actually. Um, there's a lot less people talking about eBay uh, on YouTube. I don't know if that's just me, but there's a lot less content. A lot of the resellers that started on eBay don't have eBay stores anymore, or their eBay store is the same size, and sales went way down because it's a lot more competitive now. There are, you know, when my colleague started, he was really one of the only people who had 10,000 items in his store. Now in our group, there are probably dozens of people who have 10,000 items in their store. I was trying to be 10K on the Bay. I'm almost 30K on the Bay now because of the principles of building an online store. And guys, I just wanted to share it with you. Try to get into the category of people who understand how eBay works and how to run a store. And I think when you get both of those things, you understand how it works and you understand how to build a store, you don't get distracted anymore. I think that's the secret. Before I understood those two things, I would always go down these rabbit holes. And now that I understand how eBay works and I understand how to build a store, I'm completely focused. I don't have to listen to music. I don't need any random, I don't need any hacks. I can just get the work. Um, somebody in the Patreon group said that they wanted me to go over my listing hacks. I don't have any listing hacks. I just click, this is my listing process. I, I type in what I'm selling, I click get started, I add the pictures, I fill out the description, I hit list. I don't use any shortcuts. You know, this is coming from the person that used to use VAs and robots and all this crazy stuff to make a listing work. Now I just do it, I just do it the old fashioned way. I'm just filling out every single piece of information to the best of my ability and hitting send. And I think that, you know, I think the most impressive part of my store is if you look at the most recently listed items, let's look at this really quick. Most of the items look exactly the same. Like to me, that's, it's just amazing to me that I was able to pull this off. Almost the, the process is pretty set. If you were to scroll through these pictures, yes, some of them are a little bit off because I was still training the person, but, but it's pretty consistent. Most of the items look exactly the same. The titles look the same. The description is the same. The shipping is the same. Now, of course, uh, I have a lot of broken listings because I haven't known about how to run an eBay store for the entire duration of this. Um, when you guys watch the little store grow, um, you'll be able to see that the, this store is going to grow up or with me already knowing how to do it. So it's going to be pretty accelerated. So. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself some grace. It'll take you about a year, in my opinion, of focused learning 
to get how eBay works and how to run a store. Be patient for a whole year. When you sign up for the Patreon group, sign up for the whole year, you get, a, I think you get two months free when you sign up for the whole year at once. So I'll see you guys in the group. I appreciate your time. Please smash the like button, consider subscribing. And I am just so grateful for getting past that hump of understanding how eBay works and how a store works. Those two things are ingrained in my brain. If you are in the newborn phase, don't worry. You gotta walk before you can crawl. The analogy I was thinking of, people get so upset because they can't list as fast as my partner because he's averaging like 23 listings, uh, 23 seconds per listing. But guys, he is m possibly the greatest pre-owned reseller of all time, okay? He's sold millions and millions and millions of dollars of stuff on eBay. So that's like comparing yourself to the four minute mile when you don't even walk around the block yet. Okay, don't get discouraged by the best. Be inspired by the best. I just posted in the Facebook group today that pretty much every single one of my processes as dialed in as I think it is, there's someone in the group that's better at storage, better at photos, better at titles, better at pricing. They don't have a better uh, return policy because I have the best return policy, but everything in the group, there's someone that does it better. So it's really humbling being at this level and there's still so much room to improve because I would consider myself a decent reseller, but there's still so much room to, to, to improve. Biggest room in the house is the room for improvement. So appreciate you guys. Stay positive. We'll see you guys next time.